So overall, a pretty quiet day today, but uh, rather chilly, and that's going to be the pattern over the next 10 days. Looking at long-range data, we're going to stay below normal temperature-wise over the next 10 to 12 days. A much far cry from last year. I'll give you details on that in just a second. Here's what we're tracking on satellite radar. We have a stalled out front just to our south, or at least semi-stalled out. It's kind of uh, meandering north and south just a little bit. A little bit of energy is riding along this front, and we, we do have a chance of uh, a wintry mix Sunday night into Monday. We'll get to that in just a second. Renaissance cam right now. Yeah, it's a quiet night, a little bit chilly already. 32 degrees currently in Lafayette. Again, we have the overcast skies, and we'll hold on to those really for the next 48 hours or so. And our winds have gusted out of the north anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour tonight. We'll keep those gusty winds really uh, for the rest of the day tonight and tomorrow as well. 43 degrees the high in Lafayette. The warmth is just off to the southwest, and that's where it's going to stay. 64 the high in St. Louis today. We're not going to see any numbers like that anytime soon. In fact, take a look at this graphic here. This, the red lines you see there, those were the highs observed last year. The blue ones, what we observed and what we were forecasting. We had a string of several days where we broke records in the lower 80s and upper 70s last year from March 14th through the 19th here on this graph. Yeah, we only got to 43 today compared to 81 last year. And uh, yeah, you can see here 41 degrees forecasted for the 18th as opposed to 81 last year. So quite a difference this year than it was last year. Much cooler, and that's really the pattern that we see for the rest of this March. Overnight tonight with the overcast skies and the strong winds, yeah, these temperatures are only going to drop about four or five more degrees from where they are right now, calling for a low of 28 degrees in Lafayette. Let's time out this precipitation with Futurecast. For the rest of this evening, we're going to stay overcast but dry. As we get into tomorrow afternoon, I think most of us will stay dry. However, uh, south of Lafayette, don't be surprised to see maybe a few flurries from time to time throughout the afternoon and evening hours. The better chances of precipitation come in late Sunday into Monday. So Sunday looks pretty good. Uh, still very chilly. 34 degrees the uh, temperature by noon. Winds still pretty gusty out of the east-northeast, 10 to 15 miles per hour. 38 degrees by 5. Again, maybe some flurries or sprinkles around before the better chances of precipitation come in after the uh, evening hours Sunday into the early part of Monday morning. Notice Futurecast showing a little bit of a wintry mix setting up a Sunday night into Monday. We could see some sleet, some snow, even some freezing rain. The better chance for icing occurs northeast of Lafayette. We're not looking at a significant icing, but the fact of the matter is here we are mid to late March and we're still seeing wintry weather hang around. And that looks to be the case before we change over to all rain Monday afternoon into the evening hours. Then we dry out as we get towards Tuesday and we will stay dry for several days after. 28 degrees overnight tonight. Again, a cloudy night. Temperatures will stay pretty steady, only dropping about four or five more degrees. Winds out of the north 10 to 15 miles per hour. There's your seven day forecast again. Uh, somewhat of a wintry mix Sunday night, changing to rain showers throughout the day on Monday. Then we dry it out Tuesday and stay dry really uh, much of the week and very chilly. In fact, another big story here, Tuesday night through about Thursday night, we could stay below freezing for 60 hours or so. As you can see there, uh, pretty cold too. Temperatures in the teens for lows Tuesday night and Wednesday night. That may have a big effect on some of the plants around here. Well, Ross and I have already decided we want 2012 back. Boy, yeah, a lot of people on Facebook were saying that too. But And also, I agree with the people that say we need a medium, a nice, happy medium. But uh, boy, it was a, a pretty strong spring last year. Well, I would like that back. And we also decided we like your little leprechaun on the Yeah, we uh, love the CGs. I taught him how to dance. <laughs> you taught him how to yeah. dance. <laughs> well, Ross, it was a very, very frustrating day to be a knight. Yeah, no dance.